graduates of Harvard and MIT. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We are the premier engineering and science institution in the world. Do you think you could light a bulb with a battery and wire? Do you think you could light a bulb with a battery and wire? Yeah. Light a bulb with a battery and a wire. Maybe. Yes. Definitely. Do you think you can light a bulb with a battery and a wire? Battery and wire? Well, yes, why not? Okay. Definitely. Okay, can you do that? The interesting part about the batteries and bulbs question is that people always predict that they can do it. Students say, of course I can do this. And, uh, any hints I should have here? Teachers say, of course my students can do this. Oh! Do you know why that didn't work? I have no idea. Battery could be dead, the bulb could be bad, I'm hooking it up totally <laughs> incorrectly. I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm a mechanical engineer. But if I had to guess, I would say it's operator error. <laughs> okay. I know it's possible, but I don't know how to do it. It's only after failing that you begin to get upset with the question and think, well, maybe it's a trick question, maybe this has something to do with manipulating the wires, they couldn't hold all the wires together. You don't have a current if you only have one wire. You need a complete, a closed circuit. But that's not the case. Oh, well, if I do it with a little light bulb, I just do this. <laughs> In which case, the, the light just lights up. It goes to the fundamental understanding of electricity. If one cannot light a light bulb with a battery and wire, then everything built upon those basic ideas has problems. We've always assumed that if teachers teach, students will learn. You can't assume that what's blatantly obvious to you and has always been blatantly obvious to you is going to be that way to somebody else, especially a kid. Uh, and uh, that's where you have to stop, regroup, and, and say, wait a second, is this really, is this really as self-evident as you'd like to think it is? Sometimes the simplest problems in science defy intuition and the most basic technology is surprisingly difficult to grasp. Is it because we weren't taught? Or is it because of something deeper? Something about the way we think. 